Hi, uh, my name's Brian Farron uh, from Bizarre Props. Uh, I'm going to do a series of videos over the next week or so uh, to do with um, do-it-yourself animatronics. Um, this first video is just a little bit about me and how I got into doing this sort of thing. Uh, the second video is going to be about um, an animatronic hand that I've made from various things that are just lying around my workshop. Um, so, anyway, the way I got into uh, the animatronic scene was I was a magician. Uh, worked lots through the 80s. Uh, 1988 I won a, a prodigious award as a British Magical Champion of Illusions in England. And from that job, I, um, from winning that competition, uh, I got a contract at a theme park called Granada Studios Tour in Manchester. Big, big theme park. Uh, great place. Uh, I got a contract for a year. And after the year, thinking, well, what more could he have asked? I went up to see the the big boss in his uh, his tower, and he said, yeah, just stay, get on with it, do another year. And then after that, they cancelled the show. But he said, just go on, do something else. So um, I ended up doing eight years at this theme park, great place, and we did various shows, and we ended up, uh, me and my, my crew, uh, ended up building all the sets designing all the uh, the music and the lighting and it was all a learning curve because not, none of us had done such big things before so it was, it was just a great experience and we also uh, made props as well so I got into, which I still do now, I make lots of magic props but I also do a lot of special effects things, mainly for corporate but I've done a few movies, not the best movies, but I've done a few movies um, I'll show you some pictures of that as well uh, but yeah that's uh, how I got into it really. Now, back in them days when you made, um, we we did a special effects show and back in them days there wasn't a lot of uh, reference material out there then. Um, so you had to make it up as you went along. So again, it was, it was a learning curve. Uh, so we made it all up really. We watched things on movies and said how could we do that? And that's how we did it. Um, it's just experimental, it was great. Uh, but it was, it was just a great way to learn. Um, also, um, uh, now, in these days, this, you've got Instagram, lots of things on Instagram. I look on Instagram all the time, I find things. Lots of things on Facebook. Uh, also, lots of things on, the um, best thing for me these days is YouTube. YouTube, they even teach you how to do it. This will be on there. Oh. So, uh, also, um, YouTube, but I'm an old school man. I have lots of reference books, uh, which I use. Uh, someone asks me something, I can spend the night just going through the books and having a little look and see what would be a good idea to, to do that. So, yeah, I've also got um, books on... Uh, I'll show you the books. We'll go through the books. OK, now, I, obviously, I can't show you every book that I own, uh, but I've just picked a few um, books out that um, I think are really good books, and I still use them now. First one is the Walt Disney Imagineering book. It's a fantastic book. goes into so much detail. Um, so it is well worth um, looking for it if you just source it off eBay or off Amazon. Uh, I'm sure you'll find it on there. And now, uh, Disney Plus are doing a, a, a documentary series on the Imagineering of Disney. And, and it, in a way, it accompanies the book. Fantastic. Great reference material. OK, another of my favourite books is... Um, Industrial Light and Magic, The Art of Special Effects. Absolutely fantastic book, filled with reference from cover to cover. Not the cheapest book out there, but well worth the investment. Great coffee table book, but so much reference of special effects in there. It is unbelievable. Um, if you do find it anywhere, because I do believe it's um, been discontinued now, but I could be wrong. But if not, well worth the investment. If you really are into your special effects, then this book is uh, a must. It's uh, like a Bible to special effects and animatronics. It's the Winston Effect, the Stan Winston Studios. Uh, once again, fantastic book. Not the cheapest book out there, but well worth the investment if you're really into this sort of thing. Um, now, uh, the Winston Company also have online courses, and some of the lessons are actually free. If you go onto YouTube, you can see see them give you some great ideas even if you don't want to pay There's some great things that's sam winston the winston effect okay a big part of my life uh, while growing up uh, as a young child and man uh, was um, the muppets uh, sesame street 
uh, dinosaurs, dark crystal, that sort of thing. All Jim Henson stuff. And when this book came out, the uh, title of the book is No Strings Attached, The Inside Story of Jim Henson's Creature Shop. When it came out, it was one of those books. It was a no-brainer. I just had to have it. It's got uh, detailed pictures of uh, the dinosaur mechanisms uh, remember the tv series dinosaurs how their mouth and the eyes moved also the teenage mutant ninja turtles lots 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 of valuable information there uh, once again if you do uh, stumble across this book it is a must And uh, staying with Jim Henson just for the moment, another great book that came out not uh, around about the same time as the previous book was Jim Henson, The Works. If you are a big fan of Jim Henson, uh, it gives you a lovely insight into the man himself. So that is well worth uh, a look. And uh, also, there's uh, some good stuff in that as well. Also, I did find myself uh, teaching in a college uh, special effects makeup for a year uh, and uh, acquired a vast uh, library of books, including this one, Special Makeup Effects, and also this one, Special Effects Makeup. Both good books, good for reference. When I started getting into the larger, more animated props, uh, I found The Haunt World was a great source of inspiration uh, lots of stuff out there uh, all over the internet uh, books some of them are doing books this is the home haunters um, prop building handbook great great source of uh, material um, lots of stuff out there Another company I did find online was uh, DC props their catalogs are great their books are great uh, they also have uh, a lot of information if you go on their website, a lot of downloadable documentation. Uh, absolutely fantastic, well worth a look. Okay, uh, what could I say about this next book? I found this just scrolling through Amazon one day. It's called A Guide to Animated Holiday Displays. Inside the book, uh, it's filled with all kinds of uh, mechanisms and how to build things and it's just it's just a, a it's it's helped me no end there's all kinds of stuff if you can find this book um it's got uh, ele electronic components how to rig up pneumatics uh welding tips it's just fantastic if you can find that one uh get a hold of that one that again that's called animatronics a guide to animated uh, displays by edwin wise This next book is called Radio Control Guide, RC Installations for Aircraft, Boats, Cars, uh, Motor Care and Adjustment, Learning How to Fly. Now, it is basically a radio control how-to book, but there's so much information, how to set up link linkages, um, the angles, it's fantastic, especially if you're doing small work like uh, inside, you know, schools and figures and that sort of thing. Um, it isn't much. If you can find something like that, this is actually a very old book, but it worked for me because just purely for linkages. Earlier, I told you um, about my time at the theme park and how we had to sort of wing it, basically, make things up as we went along. Well, I happened to come across this book, Secrets of Hollywood Special Effects by Robert E. McCarthy. This became my Bible and my source of work uh, while I was at Goddard's Tours. It taught me everything. And here are my three... Animated skulls, commissioned for a bar in Spain. Uh, they sat on a shelf above the bar and sang to customers. Very amusing. Um, these had uh, up and down movement of the head, left and right movement to the head, eye movement, left and right, and uh, jaw movement. Uh, they were computer controlled and also sound activated for the mouth, so they, they, it was in time with the the singing was in time uh, with the mouth movement. Uh, I've since had them back as the bar sadly closed and I've used them for lots and lots of events. Uh, another great prop we were commissioned to make uh, was this um, eight foot um, crocodile. 
it was uh, on a ram on a track on a ram um which was operated by a pir as people walked past the uh, the ram pushed the, the clock forward uh, and also there was a small ram inside the jaw and we had a bit of sound and it looked great it came out of a bush that was a uh, commission for a theming company And here is our full-size, uh, fully radio-controlled R2-D2, built a scratch build uh, from a model that we bought and just scaled it up. Uh, fantastic. Head moved, lights flashed, noises came out of it. Um, in a later video, in fact, it's a hand video, you'll see it, the actual R2-D2 in pieces on the workbench because I'm renovating it at the moment. A couple of years ago, I was commissioned by a big uh, event company here in the UK to make these uh, two metre long uh, octopus tentacles for a Pirates of the Caribbean, Caribbean theme for a massive retailer here in the UK called Next. Uh, they worked off uh, a cam and a small motor and they looked very good. If you go onto the YouTube channel, you, I think you can see them in action on there. Here we have a sculpt of my Harry Potter sorting hat. I later made it into a fully working animatronic hat. Uh, it's, it's, it's now actually used for weddings, would you believe? Uh, it has three movements. Uh, if you go onto my YouTube channel, you will see it actually moving. The video is not very good, but I will do a further video somewhere down the line and show you the mechanisms for this. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. There's a little insight into uh, who I am and uh, how I got uh, the knowledge I have now. Uh, you know, I'm not saying I'm the best person to do the animatronics, but it's it's a case of have a look at it and give it a go. That's that's me. Um, next video, I'm going to show you how to make a, an animatronic hand with bits you find lying around your workshop, your garage, whatever. Uh, for this little project, uh, this is coming up in a few days. Uh, this little project, we're going to need um, a piece of old plastic tubing, a retractable ruler, an off cut of wood, some bits of wire and uh, a rivet gun. Stay tuned. Now, just before I do go, uh, when we went through all the books a bit earlier on, um, I actually did find I had two. One of them is actually brand new, still in a bag, of the Secrets of Hollywood special effects. Uh, if anyone would be interested in buying it from me, uh, get in touch and um, we'll see what we can do. Okay, see you in the next video. Thank you.